Welcome into Terrier Vision. I'm Mark Hauser. This Saturday afternoon, homecoming Saturday at Gibbs Stadium, the Wofford Terriers look for a seventh consecutive victory as Wofford, 6-1 and one on the season, 4-0 and oh in the Southern Conference, plays host to the Citadel Bulldogs, who enter the day 0-5 oh in the league and 2-6 and six overall. Wofford has beaten the Citadel in 11 consecutive head-to-head -head meetings. Let's check the highlights. Second down and 12 again. Citadel back at their 15 and a half yard line. Man in motion near side from a halfback spot. Handoff tried. Ball fumbled by the quarterback Thompson. And he covers the ball himself right about the line of scrimmage. Play action. Quarterback back to throw. Thompson going to air it out. Near side intercepted. Picked off at the 50 yard line. Tommy Irvin returns it to the 45. Breaks a tackle on his feet to the Bulldog 40. First down Terriers. Tommy Irvin with his third interception of the year. Wideouts either side. They go from the wing bone. Allen fakes the dive. Pitches far corner. Block out front from Marshall to spring Rucker. Rucker turns right corner. Gets to the 35. Rod Harlan, strong linebacker with the tackle for the Bulldogs on Rucker, who picked up nine on second and one. Allen straight drop. Throws deep down the middle. Caught. Goal line. Touchdown Terriers and Jeremy Marshall. That's great to see. That's his, if I'm not mistaken, that's his first time in the end zone since he went out with an injury two years ago. Nine minutes, 12 seconds to play first quarter. Terriers turn a turnover into quick points. Wofford seven, Bulldogs nothing. So the Citadel now first and 10 from the 20. Trouble with the snap from center, and it will be covered by Dallas in the backfield at the 16. Sander Wall, who will grab the snap at the one-yard line. Here comes pressure. He fumbles the snap. It's loose. Ball covered at the five-yard line. Wofford College football. Alexander Wall had trouble with the snap. And now it's second and goal from the two on the right hash. Breitenstein, the lone back, directly behind Allen out of the gun. Two receivers to the left. Hand off Breitenstein. Jukes to his left. Touchdown standing up. Touchdown, Eric Breitenstein. 16th of the year. Second and five Terriers at their 43 now. Toss sweep looking to make the corner. Rucker, he's got it. 45, 50, cuts it back inside to the 45. Rucker down to the Citadel, 41. That's a first down run for Rucker as he picks up 17. Now at the Bulldog, 35 on the left half. Two receivers to the left for Cass. He has two backs with him out of the gun, right up the middle. Breitenstein on a quick hitter. Carries to the 30-yard line. First and 10, Wofford. Now at the Bulldog, 30. Two receivers right. Play action, Cass. Steps up in the pocket. Throws near side. Burson's got it at the five. And he is in. Touchdown, Terriers. Well thrown ball by Brian Cass and great footwork by Britton Burson. 40 seconds to play. Second quarter, 21 to nothing Terriers. One receiver splits to the right. Again, two slots and a fullback. Quarterback Thompson up under center. Takes the snap, low pitch on the ground. It's loose at the 46. Wofford football, I believe it is. And then Paul covers the poor pitch. Second and 10 now at the Bulldog 46. Left hash mark, two receivers to the wide side. Allen back to throw out of the gun over the middle. That's caught and then fumble. The ball was caught at the 24-yard line, picked up off the ground by one of the Bulldogs and returned to the 40 and all the way out to the 50-yard line. Jamie Chapel was the guy who caught it and fumbled it. So now with eight seconds to play in the half, the Citadel with the ball right at the midfield stripe on the right hash. It's first down. Trips to the left in a triangle. Thompson under center with one receiver to the right and one fullback who will stay in to block. Cut, pocket breaks down and Thompson is sacked. And that'll end the first half right there. The Terriers will go to the locker room with a three score lead. Halftime score here at Gibbs Stadium in Spartanburg. The Wofford Terriers 21 and the Citadel Bulldogs nothing. First and 10 Terriers now from their 46 right hash. Two receivers left, one to the right, two backs alongside Allen out of the gun, up the middle, Breitenstein, good yards on the handoff, 50-45, tripped up at the Bulldog, 42, first down. Terriers lead here, 21 to nothing, third and nine from the Bulldog, 41, 6.03 to play, third quarter from the wing bone, Allen straight drop to throw, pumps and sacked. He's knocked over at the 43-yard line. Backside pressure by Eric Clanton. Two receivers right, a wing right. One receiver comes to the left. 
Matt Thompson, true freshman quarterback under center, deep drop to throw, pocket breaks down, he'll scramble to the near side, throws on the one, caught for a first down at the 28-yard line. Two and a half minutes to play in the third, a wing to the right will come in motion to the left, fumble on the snap, loose at the 26, Terriers say they have it and they do. Fumble recovery for Wofford and Keaton Thompson. First and 10 from the Bulldog, 26, give up the gut, good yards for Brighton Stein, 25, cuts left to the 20, slants his way down to the 19, man in motion near side, Rucker, it's a handoff, Brighton Stein, room up the middle, 15, 10, 5, touchdown! Second touchdown run of the day for Breitenstein, and once he broke through the line, there was nobody there to get him. Going right to left to start the fourth quarter from the 20-yard line, Citadel in the white road jerseys, powder blue letters and numbers. Young wide to the left, one receiver goes to the right, three backs surround Cass out of the shotgun handoff, and good yards, Donovan Johnson, yikes. 25, 30, drags men with him all the way out to the 34. First down, Terriers from their 48. Play action for Cass. He'll throw to the near side, caught at the numbers at the 40 by Burson. Then he'll use his offhand to keep his balance. 11.40 to play fourth quarter. Wofford driving, leading the Citadel 28-0. Two receivers right, a wing to the right is Rucker. Man in motion, near side, Burson from a slot. Handoff, no, it's a fake of a handoff, and it's gonna be Cass turning right corner, far side 25-20. Cass to the 15, run out of bounds at the 12, and then we get a late flag, and the Citadel may get marked for a late hit out of bounds on Wofford's quarterback. Two receivers come to the left. The slot man is Burson, Reed is the outside man, ball on the right hash mark. This time Donovan Johnson, the lone back behind Cass out of the gun in motion right behind the formation. Burson handoff Donovan Johnson behind the left side of his line will push the pile from the three to the two to the one. Wow. <laughs> Second and goal. In motion near side Rucker. Handoff left side Johnson. Touchdown Terriers. 10-18 to play, fourth quarter. Wofford has opened it up. Terriers, 35. The Citadel, nothing. Terrell Dallas, the fullback, on second down and 10 from the 46. Dallas in motion as the ball snapped. And the pitch goes to Terrence Martin, who is slung down. And now he fumbles the ball at the 44. And I think he gets his own fumble back. Third and four at the 38. Five seconds as they break the huddle. Three seconds, two, one. They don't get the playoff, and the Wofford Terriers do get the shutout. Your final score here from Gibbs Stadium in Spartanburg on homecoming. The Wofford College Terriers, 35, and the Citadel Bulldogs, nothing. All right, Coach, uh, let's start with the defense. Do you realize that's the first shutout you guys have had since 2006? Uh, good. That, that, that's <laughs> wonderful. Uh, played really well, and uh, Citadel struggling a little bit, and uh, we did a lot of good things on defense. Uh, did a great job of fitting the defense, uh, caused some problems for the quarterback in the mesh, uh, stripped the ball uh, one time, and uh, and just just played well. Uh, the, the kids, uh, for the most part, were assignment sound all day and, um, and, and gave us an opportunity to jump out uh, to a 14-point lead. Uh, probably the tough thing is, uh, you know, Citadel was playing pretty tough defense on us. And uh, we, uh, we struggled a little bit, but uh, there were some things that they took away, but there were some things that... Uh, that they gave us, and uh, we uh, actually threw the ball and uh, did uh, fairly well. Uh, Citadel, a uh, lot of respect for the program. Uh, they're uh, installing a new offense. Uh, they've got young kids that are uh, at the quarterback, and uh, it, it's tough. It, it's, there's, there's a learning curve, but uh, Kevin Higgins is as good a coach as there is in the country, and. He's got a great staff, and I'm sure that those guys are going to, you know, get it right. And, and uh, you know, it's it's not going to be as uh, easy as it was today, and today really wasn't easy. 
at halftime, you're leading 21 to nothing. What did you tell the kids, and was there a feeling that you left some opportunities out on the table at the, yeah. in the second quarter? Well, there's no doubt. Uh, we felt like we, we probably should have had two more scores. Uh, you have a fumble. You, you have a, a nice pass reception, and to their credit, I mean, they knocked the fool out of our tight end, and he coughed it up. And uh, it's uh, it, it's uh, a, a game that uh, if, if you – Take care of the football. Uh, it gives you more opportunities to score. And uh, to their credit, I'm, I mean, they were playing hard. And uh, we knew going in they'd, they'd play hard. Uh, we're just fortunate and blessed that we uh, executed a little bit better. And uh, and I think uh, when you look at it, uh, it, it was a good game. Was it our best game? Uh, no, no. There, there's there's some things that that. Uh, our glaring weaknesses that, that must be corrected for these next three weeks. All right, Jeremy, uh, you get a touchdown catch today. I know you like to run the ball, but people sometimes forget you're a pretty good receiver. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, I got me a little touchdown catch today. Uh, we don't get to run the ball much the way defense players nowadays, so I had to take advantage of the opportunity that I had. Talk about uh, what worked for you guys on offense, especially in the first half. Uh, I mean, they, they played defense that we haven't seen the defense before, but like I mean, the passes they were there. That's why we kept throwing it. You guys uh, were able to shut down their running game fairly effectively today. How'd you do that? Uh, I think just practice, and that we've seen it from our offense in Georgia Southern this year, and uh, that definitely helped us prepare. And you know, we knew we really wanted to win this game. We knew we needed it. It's homecoming, and I think. Uh, you know, that also just gave us that extra spark in the game. So with their victory over the Citadel, the Terriers up their record to 7-1 and one overall, now 5-0 and oh in the Southern Conference. A week from today, the Terriers travel to Birmingham, Alabama, and Siebert Stadium. They will take on the Samford University Bulldogs, who beat the Terriers at Gibbs Stadium a year ago. I'm Mark Hauser. Thanks for watching Terrier Vision.